Hi, I just got my rhythm clock in the mail today. Uh, actually, I just took it out of the box, but here's a here's the box it comes in. Actually, mine was uh, a little loose in the box. It looks like the styrofoam that holds the clock in place in the box broke. Um, and as I noticed when I picked the box up for the first time, the clock was shaking around in there a little bit, which had me nervous because I thought uh, I might be looking at some damage. Uh, you can see here's, you know, it's wrapped in a little piece of cloth, like a cloth covering, and then just four pieces of styrofoam. Actually, it doesn't look like it's, the styrofoam is broken, but the clock was loose in the box. Thankfully, it appears that there is no damage here on it. Here's the, I just took it out of the, out of the box and it looks good. I don't see any damage or scratches or anything like that. Uh, here's the rear of the unit. Actually, I took the, there were two stickers on the front, this one and this one, and I took them off the front and stuck them on the back. Not that I'll probably ever need them for anything, but, whoops, I must have just hit the button with my finger. Uh, you probably, if you haven't seen the, oops, the motion clock in use. Reflections. There we go. This is the gadget model, which I just purchased on Amazon. Uh, the button to force it's right here at the very bottom. Uh, it's it's a nice clock for the price. I thought it might be a little higher end. I guess. I mean, it does. I don't see any problems with it, but it's definitely it's all plastic everywhere. It's made in China which I actually had thought these were Japanese clocks. Maybe the newer ones are, they've outsourced them to China. I'm not sure. But there's two D batteries, which do, does come with the unit. These little covers right here pop off. Two little plastic battery covers, one on each side of the unit. It does come with two Panasonic uh, heavy duty D batteries. And these just pop right back on like that. Uh, here you set the clock right here in the center. There's just a little dial you turn it with. Here's the hanger. It just hangs with one screw or nail right here in the top. Um, there's a little right here's the basically like the instructions. Here's the list of songs A, B, and C. One thing that I'm kind of disappointed in honestly is the fact that you can only play each subset. It seems like the on this corner here are the controls. There you can see reset, volume, whether you want the melody on or off, and uh, there's A, B, and C. So I guess uh, I was really hoping, I can understand why you'd want a subset for Christmas songs. You know, maybe you don't always want to hear those. But I would have liked to have seen the option to play any of the, uh, I think it was 30 songs, at any time. But it doesn't appear to give you that option. You either set it so it randomly plays a song from A, a song from B, or a song from C. But there's no way to set it to play a random song from all of the categories, or two of the categories, or anything like that, unfortunately. So if you have a song that you really love in B and another song you really love in A, unless you're manually changing the controls, you're not going to get the option to hear those without flipping it. So that's kind of a disappointment, I thought. I don't know why exactly they do that. Let me turn the melody on, turn the volume up a little bit, and then I'll just, I'm going to go ahead and hang. It's a, it's a nice looking clock, though. I, it looks like everything is plastic, the whole thing. I do like the way there's always a spinning gear. I wanted something that was always showing motion, and this at least does have a, a continuously running gear, and there's no way to shut that off from what I see. Uh, of course, there's your temperature and your, your thermometer and your hygrometer for humidity. So I'm not sure how accurate they are yet. I just took it out of the box, so I'll have to spend a little, you know, keep checking it every once in a while and, and see if I can get an idea of how accurate it is. The sound is good, you know, no question. It gets loud, it's clear, 
So I am happy with that piece of it. Now I'm just going to stick it on the wall. Okay. There, I just mounted it up on the wall. I'll play, uh, I'll push the button. What am I, about seven minutes away from the top of the hour? But I'll go ahead and push the demo button again and see... Pretty slick.